You see, you people should tell the NDC people that they are sleeping spiritually. Okay, Papa. Put the master camera on me. You people should tell the NDC people that it is dangerous. They you see, you people should tell the NDC people that they are sleeping spiritually. Okay, Papa. Put the master camera on me. You people should tell the NDC people that. It is dangerous. They think they have already won, and that is dangerous. Right. The NDC should note that they have not already won the next general election. Mm. And the NDC, they are sleeping spiritually. Okay, Papa. It, the thing keeps changing. Okay, Papa. So they should not be comfortable. Okay, Papa. The NDC should not be comfortable. Not be comfortable. I am Prophet Nigel. I am prophesying to the mm -hmm. nation of Ghana. Okay, Papa. Today is what today is. Papa, it's, it's fourth August. Fourth August. Yeah. Tell the national that the Lord have shown me. I should tell the National Democratic Congress and Ghana that the National Democratic Congress, they should not think they have already won the next general election. They are sleeping spiritually. They are sleeping spiritually. They are sleeping spiritually. They think that they have won. They think that the hardship in Ghana will let them win. They are making a great mistake. Mm. And mm. if they make this thing slip them, mm. God will not forgive Kwame Dramani. Jesus. God will not forgive Kwame Dramani. If they make this thing slip them, God will not forgive Kwame. The NDC should wake up because they are sleeping. The NDC should wake up. I'm a prophet. You can insult, insult me, whatever. I speak and I say what I saw. I did not say that the NDC will not win. I never say so. Because out there with humility, apologize to Ghanaians, admit your mistakes before you can convince anybody to vote. If you ignore the hardship Ghanaians are going through, they will never accept what you are saying. You first have to admit that there are hardships. But then when you put that down, because it's actually a movie. Let's give MVP another chance. And I know we've all learned our lessons. We are not going to sit back. We will have Dr. Baumia, the Vice President, to be selected. I've been talking to him. We share ideas, all the ideas I have, and I was telling him I need to do the campaign. I'm not going to keep it to myself because I didn't win. Then I'm not going to be talking. No.